including party strategist Linton Crosby, Stephen Gilbert again, and party chairman Lord Feldman. Lord Feldman, who is the man looking into this, according to David Cameron, who was quizzed about the election expenses by Rai TV's Robert Peston. In the end, uh, I'm responsible for, for everything, but I'm very confident that uh, the Conservative Party is gripping this with the, with the chairman, uh, Andrew Feldman. You know, lots of political parties have these uh, bus tours, you know, buses that go round different constituencies, and that is a national expense. Um, but this is all now in conversation with the Electoral Commission and these other investigations, so we should let that take its place. But I'm confident the idea of a bus that is a national bus that visits constituencies, I think the Labour Party's done that, the Liberals have done it, we've done it. But if you're um, found to have broken the rules, do you think your great friend Lord Feldman will have to stand down as Well, chairman? I don't believe we have done uh, anything wrong. If there were misdeclarations or things left out, we have to put those uh, in place, but I I'm confident we can answer all the questions that are being put to us. <laughs> The Prime Minister is right. Labour did also have a bus, dubbed the Labour Express. And Labour did not declare any transport costs for it at local level. Like the Tories, they claim it's a national, not local expense. There is one key difference between the Labour and Conservative bus tours. Hotels. Labour say that they never spend any money putting volunteers up in hotels during tours, and so far no evidence has emerged to contradict them. But Channel 4 News has already revealed that the Conservatives spent more than £38,000 putting their volunteers up in hotels during tours. £38,000 that was never declared anywhere. The Tories say this was an administrative error. And of course, 